Okay, hey everybody. Uh, today we're doing our line trace pickup tutorial. Uh, this will show you how to grab an object from far away and pull it towards you over time. Uh, so by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to do this. All right. First things first, go to input. We're going to want to set two inputs on the motion controller, left and right grip ones. I call mine hold left and hold right. You can call yours whatever you want. Next, we're going to edit the BP motion controller. Uh, we're going to go into that blueprint. We're going to create a new function called trace pickup. Uh, we're going to set wants to grip to true because that will give you the animation of your hand opening and closing. We're going to line trace for objects. Um, we're going to get the position of the arc direction, which is the same. Um, it's already attached to your hand, rather, from the VR template. Um, you can add your own. I'm just using this one. Um, <clears throat> hold on. And there it is. That uh, red arrow it is, that is pointing. There you go. Okay, so that red arrow right there will tell you um, where the direction that your line trace is coming out of. So we're going to get the world location of that. We're going to get its forward vector, multiply it by a range that we want, and then we're going to divide those. That'll be the start and end points. This will be our object array. We're going to check for uh, world dynamic and pawn. All right, next we're going to break our hit event. Um, and that's going to give you all of these different inputs. So from the hit actor, we're going to check to make sure that that actor implements its interface, which is the pickup actor interface. If that's true, we're going to set this to be the attached actor. Uh, then we're going to set that to our trace grab. Our trace grab is a scene component. Yes, yeah, are you need a scene component here called trace grab that's out on your hand model. Um, that's just to bring the object, because uh, usually what you're grabbing is kind of larger, so it's to bring it in front of you so you can then grab it uh, into Rumble, and we're going to set menu pop-up. That's just some housekeeping. All right, uh, into your motion controller pawn, pawn blueprint, and uh, we're going to input action, hold left. Um, that's if you squeeze the side, we're going to trace pickup. When you let go, it'll release the actor if it has the actor in the hand. Uh, this, just allows, this just opens and closes the hand every time you run the trace. Uh, yep, and that's what it is needed here. Okay, <clears throat> next we're going to edit our pickup actor blueprint. Um, mine is now planet, but it's still that basic pickup actor blueprint. Um, if you're doing your own pickup actor, make sure you've initialized the pickup actor interface or it won't work. <clears throat> so we're going to call the event trace pickup. We're going to set is held to held, and then we're going to run this timeline. Um, this is a float track. Uh, it just sets the alpha for the location of my object as it moves through space, uh, the, through the world location, rather. So get the world location of your hand. Get the world location of the thing you're trying to pick up. Use the motion track as your alpha. Use that as your new location and set actor location. Uh, then we're going to turn physics off, and we're going to attach it to the root component that is its hand, or your hand, rather. Uh, next, all right, this is for letting go of the object. Uh, for me, there's a little bit more going on here because I have my planets snapping back to their location in orbit, um, but you can really do whatever you want with it as long as you just have it attach from, uh, attach from actor. All right, that should give us this result of being able to line trace pick up a planet. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, I'll happy to help you work out any bugs you have. Um, like and subscribe for more tutorials and more dev blog on this solar system game I'm working on. Uh, yeah, thanks for checking out my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye.